feel like maybe I should do this whole video with my hood up. How does it, this looks, uh, it doesn't look that great, does it? <laughs> Okay, let's do it for real. So in today's video, I'm gonna be telling you a little bit about the Patagonia Torrent Shell Free L jacket that I've been wearing for pretty much the last two years. I've really, really enjoyed my time with this jacket. I've worn it pretty much for the last two years straight. I've worn it on loads of different hikes, on loads of different adventures, in all kinds of different experiences, at different altitudes, you know, just in different weather as well. In this video, I'm gonna go through what I like about it, what I don't like about it. I'm gonna talk about its specifications and features. So if you're researching this coat, or if you're looking just to buy a raincoat yourself, then keep watching because this video is gonna be super useful for you. So I'm gonna start off by giving you an overview of all the specs and features of this coat. So the Patagonia Torrent Shell Free L is a waterproof hard shell jacket that uses a free layer H2 No performance standard technology for waterproof and breathable performance, as it says in its website. H2NO seems to be their patented material type. Weighing in at 413 grams, this coat is extremely light. The coat itself is extremely durable, it's well made, and after two years of use, it is still waterproof. Oh, and by the way, links to this coat and all the other versions of it, it comes in a wide selection of colors, are gonna be linked down in the description below. You can find them on Amazon and it comes super quick. So yeah, if you wanna buy this coat, do me a favor, and buy it through that link down below. You'll be supporting me and this channel. So let's talk about the hood. The jacket's hood is brilliantly shaped. It's got plenty of room and can comfortably fit big heads like mine. At the sides of the jacket, it features two cords you can pull to close up the hood. The hood itself can get closed up pretty well with its drawstring and also features a raised lip that helps to keep drips out of your face. Around the back of the hood, there's also another drawstring, which is particularly useful if you're facing windy days. Cool, let's talk about the pockets. The coat itself features two zipped pockets, one of them can be used as a stuff sack for the jacket by shoving it in like this. I do really like this feature, but honestly, I don't tend to use it just because I can stuff this jacket down the back of my backpack and it can kind of go in those places that other big bulkier items can't. It can kind of move around that and sit around those items. So I don't really tend to roll it up just because it takes up more space in the bag that way. But I still think it's a cool addition nonetheless. You might also notice that the jacket has two drawstrings tied around the waist of the jacket. This is a great addition that enables you to customize the jacket to your body size and also cinch in the jacket if you're facing bad weather conditions. I nearly forgot to mention the pit zips that are under each arm. These can be pulled down when you're getting a little bit hot and want some more ventilation in the jacket. These are truly an excellent addition. On the topic of zips, it has one central zip down the middle of the coat and it is very easy to use. It does occasionally get stuck on the flap that covers up the zip, but to be honest, this hasn't been much of a problem for me. I guess if I was really to improve this jacket, I would get rid of this flap and I would just have a waterproof zip. But this isn't a top spec mountaineering jacket. It's good enough for what I need right now. Overall, the build quality of this jacket is exceptional. It's a classy looking jacket that has been sewn together very carefully. It has strong, tidy seams and and has straight lines throughout. There are no snags or cuts and all of the drawstrings and zips have stayed strong throughout our time together. So yeah, as I said before, I've had this jacket for a good two years now. I've worn it on the South Downs Way. I've worn it all the way along the Ridgeway. I wore it on the London to Birmingham trek that I did. And of course, I can't forget that I wore this jacket to the top of Grand Paradiso and Mont Blanc on that epic Mont Blanc adventure I did with Adventure Base last year. It's a jacket that I have really put through the paces and have made great use out of. If you wanna go and check out those adventures, feel free to do so. They're in the backlog of videos on my channel and you will see me repping this jacket it throughout. But now let's really dig in and talk about what I really like about this jacket. I've been caught out in major storms before, specifically when I was going along the South Downs Way, and this jacket definitely kept me drier for longer. It put up a really good fight against that storm. I'll be honest, I don't think any jacket would have got me completely dry throughout that storm. It was crazy winds, crazy rain as well, but this jacket definitely kept me drier for longer. Eventually, all jackets do get saturated. They do get to the point where you're wet for all over on both sides of the layers but this puts up a seriously good fight and you know, kept me dry for hours on end. And it's just a brilliantly made, well-made, well-crafted piece of kit. Another thing I really like about this jacket is something that I briefly touched upon earlier. I just love the amount of colors that they offer. They have, they have this red and blue one that I wear. They have yellow, orange, green, blue, everything you can imagine. So yeah, I just really like that addition of the jacket and the fact that Patagonia have gone so far to be able to provide this in every single color for every single demographic and every single, I don't know, personality type or whatever people you know are drawn to. It's great that they've covered so many different 
different bases. So I obviously got the red and blue version of this jacket. I decided to get this one because I wanted the red to be easily recognizable. If I ever needed help or got lost, people could see me miles and miles away. And the reason why I like the blue half as well is because it kind of hides stains, hides dirt. I often will sit on this jacket when on adventures. So it's nice to know that it's not getting super mucky and looks really worn in after, you know, a few days on the road. Another thing I love about this jacket is the cut of it itself. It's super tapered, really slim fitting. And I do really think that it is just super stylish. I've worn it on plenty of adventures, but I've also worn it to work. I've worn it in the city, around town. I've worn it out in the wilderness. It's like a piece of clothing that you can just match with loads of different clothes. And I think it looks kind of timeless and quite chic. So yeah, I really do love it for that as well. It's also a really good sun cover. So when I was hiking the South Downs way, I didn't have a sun hoodie and I was getting absolutely blasted by UV rays by the sun. So what I did was put the hood up, loosen everything off, undo all the Velcro, undo the zips and basically use it as a sun hoodie. I put my hood up and it kept me out of the sun and it worked really well for that. I undid the pit zips, there's loads of ventilation. So yeah, it's a great raincoat, but it also works well in other situations and it's just handy to have in a pinch and it can just take a lot of stuff that you throw at it. And to be honest, I really do expect this jacket to last me for a fair few years to come. And I guess my final big plus of this jacket is that when you buy this jacket, you will be supporting a brand with, you know, a really positive global mission. Patagonia are super forward thinking, super ethical, sustainable, moral company. So personally, I'm like super proud to be wearing Patagonia gear. Makes me feel good, makes me feel like I've done something positive for the planet. Makes me feel like I'm not just buying into, you know, trashy clothes that ruin the planet. It's a cool brand that supports it and builds it up and wearing it, you know, you, you show that you're an advocate and that you're doing even a small thing just to, you know, help us take care of our world. So yeah, it's a great brand to get behind is what I'm saying. So those are a few of the cons. Those are a few of the things that I really like about this jacket. Now let's talk about the one thing that I don't like about this jacket. The pockets, in my opinion, are too low down. If the pockets were just four inches higher or three inches higher, then they would be so much better for harness work and so much better for waist belts on backpacks. It's really hard to access the pockets when you have a waist belt clipped up or if you have a harness on. I found that out when I was climbing Mont Blanc, it was really difficult to get my hands into the pockets. I personally have a Gossamer Gear G40 lightweight backpack and it's got this big waist clip that I know a lot of hikers have and this jacket kind of gets in the way like if I want to access a pocket I have to undo that waist clip just to access it to pull a phone out to do whatever I need to do and it sounds like a small thing but when you're doing that thousands of times on a trip you know hundreds of times a day it does become tiring so if I were to do one thing to this jacket I would move the pockets higher up it's a small thing that I just think would make this jacket a little bit more adventure friendly yeah, okay there's one more thing I would change about this jacket I don't really like the hood cinching feature so when you pull up the hood and you put it on and say you want to yank this down um, when it's raining it will make the hood tighter right but when you want to loosen the hood it becomes a bit of an issue because they've hidden the actual like loosening cinch inside the material itself it's inside the hood which right now seems pretty easy enough to do right but when you've got a backpack on when you've got a helmet on when you've got big thick gloves on it's actually really hard to find that small rivet and to actually loosen it off and it just becomes an annoying little thing that you have to figure out every single time especially when you're hiking you know you're dehydrated you're tired you're running out of energy and the last thing you want to do is to be fumbling around trying to loosen off your hood off after you've just been hit by you know crazy wind or crazy snow if it was up to me i would have that loosening rivet on the outside like every other jacket i've ever seen i guess it's supposed to be chic and stylish but to be honest for me it's just a hindrance it's just annoying but all of that being said i'm probably nitpicking here these are small things that have only affected me just because of my specific use case which is just long distance hiking and dealing with this coat in crazy weather so if you're a casual user if you're not going to be doing serious miles if you're not going to be fiddling around with things as much as i am then you probably won't be deterred by these kind of issues. That all being said, I am not going to be binning this jacket or giving it away to anyone else for a long time. I can still see myself wearing this jacket for the next couple of years. I may well start wearing some other Rab jackets, some other North Face or Patagonia coats because although I've really enjoyed my time with this jacket, I am starting to see the benefit of an even higher spec mountain jacket. So you might see me experiment a little bit here and there, but just know that I will not be getting rid of this jacket. I'll be wearing it casually. I'll be wearing it to work. I'll be wearing it on the occasional adventure. I might even let my girlfriend borrow it if we go hiking together. This jacket is great for a hiker, great for an adventure, great for a casual user. It's a brilliant investment. And I know it's a little bit expensive. It's I think it's around 160 
60 pounds right now. But if you've got the money and you're considering buying it, then I would just recommend that you do. It's a big cosign from me. You'll be supporting a great cause, getting a great product that will keep you seriously dry in pretty much any weather. And yeah, it's just a great investment. I have no regrets for it at all. And I would highly recommend that you pick one up. If you enjoyed the video, do me a favor and hit the like button down below. It helps me in the algorithm and helps this small channel grow. Click these videos that are showing up on screen now. They're adventures that YouTube thinks you're gonna love. I will see you in the next video. Thanks a lot for watching. See ya.